Hello, Tams community! Kumusta kayo? Welcome to the third episode of Sari Saring Kwirtuhan, a podcast that tackles issues faced by the LGBTQIA community. I am Bobet Latosa, a faculty member at the Department of Communication. And I am Amira Milano, faculty member of the Department of Language and Literature and the current coordinator of the Gender and Development Desk of FEU. Bobet, today's episode is a very interesting one. We are going to talk about dating, relationship maintenance, and conflict resolution. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a very interesting topic for students and non-students alike, Amira. Tama. What a beautiful story from Case and Cheryl. Our next guest is Emmanuel Verhel de Dios, Director of Analytics at T-Tech. His partner is Lemuel Catalogo, Product Manager of Eastern Telecom. Hi, Noel. Kumusta ka? Hey, okay naman. Kumusta? Mabuti naman. <laughs> oh, diba? Kamusta pa ba tayo? Oh, kamusta pa ba tayo? Sige, Noel. Uh, ang gusto naming malaman is, the first thing that we would like to know is, how long have you been together? Uh, we've been together for 10 years. More than 10 years. So, mag-11 this year. Wow. Kanina, 5 years. Ngayon, 10 years. Pataas na pataas, So, kakayanin mo ba yun, Amira? Tahimik ka. Tahimik ka. Okay, so, we would like to know how or what made you decide to commit to the relationship? Uh, how to decide? Pero, uh, for me, I think it was an easy decision because yeah. I've always been in relationships in mm-hmm. your comfort zone. Ko. I, do, I don't enjoy dating, mm-hmm. meeting people, going through the process of getting to each other. Ganyan. Mm-hmm. So when we met, uh, we dated Sigura for about two months, getting to yeah. know each other. After that, Propose kagad ako na mag-live in kami. So, <laughs> get, to kagad. get to know uh-huh. each other, get into a relationship, ilabas na lahat ng mga baho, ganyan. Yeah. ganyan. <laughs> Yun. Uh, and then I can get to know kung ito ba yung pang long-term relationship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So do you think, would you say it was a risk that you had to take? or? Yep, yep. It, mm-hmm. It's a risk I always take. So mm-hmm. this is my fourth relationship. And then each time, um, I jump into it talaga na, okay, let's try to make this work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Right. And since... Pinapag-uusapan na natin kung paano siya i-work at nabanggit mo na kanina. Sige, give in na. Paano yung task sharing? Oh. Oh. Task sharing. Um, I think when you get into a relationship, especially kung nagkaroon ka na ng previous relationships, yeah. mm-hmm. medyo alam mo na kung saan ka magaling. Eh. Ano yung role mo? Ano yung, um, alam, and then may kilala mo na kung saan mm-hmm. magaling yung partner mo, mm-hmm. saan siya mas comfortable. Yeah. So, meron talaga kaming division ng tasks. It can be uh, very simple lang. Like yung daily things, sino maglalaba, yeah. sino papaligo ng aso, sino magluluto, magluluto pinggan. So, yung mga ganong bagay, and in some cases, it can be the more complex one. Like, sino yung mag-handle ng finances mm-hmm. natin? Yeah, sino yeah. yung um, mag-handle ng mga conflict? Sino mm-hmm. yung mga magmamanage ng gantong problema? Mm-hmm. So, dun sa mga um, parts na yun, meron talaga ipiplay na role yung mm-hmm. bawat yeah. isa. Uh-oh. So, I would like to ask more specifically, mm-hmm. sino ba yung assigned sa kung ano in terms of finances? Yes. Oh, and <laughs> yung... Oh, okay. oh, kasi usually, ang, ang sinasabi kasi sa studies, Amira, is that uh, ma- gendered daw Tama. yung roles, uh, yung, yung mga ganitong classing uh-huh. roles sa relationship. So, uh, that's for heterosexual yes. relationships. So, we would like to know kung totoo ba ito, to what extent is this true in queer relationships. So, pagdating sa division ng finances, uh, you, you already mentioned about the tasks, yeah. uh, yung uh, maintenance ng relationship. So, how, how is it like? Ano yung dynamics nyo? Mm-hmm. As far as being gendered, hindi ko alam kung the gender is the cause or the effect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, kasi kung tutuusin, uh, ito yung natutuwa ako dun sa mga mas modern portrayal ng mga gay couples. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Portraying them as, as boring couples like everyone else. <laughs> 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 kung baga, na they go through the, their daily lives, na ito rin yung mga pinoproblema nila, mm-hmm. yung mga, pa, pa, mga pagkain, yung pera, Mm-mm. yung araw-araw na mga gawain. Mm-mm. In relationships, especially gay relationships, I don't think the gender applies. Mm-hmm. Kasi, mm-hmm. you both just play to each other's strengths. Mm-hmm. So, kung halimbawa, in, in my case, I consider myself yung more uh, mas capable sa financial management. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, in our case, um, I handle more of the financial decisions. Mm-hmm. Although, 
we earn separately, we have our own incomes, and hindi naman joint yung account namin. Yeah. Pero most of the major financial decisions, ako yung nagde-decide. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. because, yun din yung mas may background ako. Mm -hmm. And then, right. in a lot of cases, uh, he's actually, he's younger, so siya naman yung pagdating sa social aspect, uh -oh. yung mga magaya, tala, punta tayo dito, kailangan niya ako hatakin, ganyan, yeah. or tala, magplano tayo ng ganitong vacation, or ganyan, so siya naman yung nag-lead dun sa side na yun. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's any gender associated mm -hmm. with those types of roles, yeah. pero it's just where you're more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. Siguro, dagdag ko lang, no, kasi parang ang interesting sa akin ng part na hindi siya basically gendered, yeah. mm -hmm. so yeah. to speak, no, and babalik at babalik na naman siya na depende siya doon sa dynamic ng relationship mm -hmm. ninyo. Right. So, halimbawa, since nabanggit mo na yung task sharing, mas, mas malakas ka pagdating sa finances, siya naman sa social, paano siya nine-negotiate? Oo. Kung baga parang, ano ba to Pagkaupo nyo lang ba, bilangin na pag-usapan kay akin ng finances sa'yo, ang social. Or, hindi, pag-usapan natin to kailangan magbotohan tayo dito. Paano ba siya? Oo. Siguro, uh, dalawa kasi kami, so yung democratic process, Oo. may hirap, botohan, Oo. may botohan. Botohan tayo, parang 50, no? Oh, it's always a tie. Pero in our case naman, open and honest communication pa rin papasok yun eh. So, when we, for example, uh, like him about sa finances, uh, and this applies even to straight couples, no? Yes. Yung, um, even married couples, I know some who have just separate accounts. Mm. Uh, para in their case, mm. even though there some pooled funds for things na panggasos nila right. as a family, mm. as a couple, Tama. meron pa rin silang, here's my own money that yes. I can spend. Mm -hmm. So in those cases, kailangan talaga meron din kayo mga compromises and Tama. agreements that this is what's gonna work for us. So it doesn't mm. mean that, for example, I'm the one handling your major financial decisions Tama. na wala rin siyang capacity to do that on his own. Mm -hmm. Meron pa din. Meron pa mm -hmm. din. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm. Let's go more to more intimate discussion. So, may studies kasi. <laughs> Bilis <laughs> 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 Oo, ganun talaga. From finances uh, to, to intimate, uh, intimate, uh, intimate yes. conversations. Okay. Ganun. So, merong mga studies, Noel, na nagsasabi na queer couples mm. are more, are, sorry, less monogamous, monogamous yeah. in their relationship, sexually speaking. Yes. No? So, how do you like to respond to that? Uh -oh. Were, were you by any chance part of those studies? Cut! No! Sa mo nga musta ko? Ano ka ba? Okay, sige, outlier ka. <laughs> outlier ako. Uh, I keep hearing that. Pero mm. for me, I don't know if it's necessarily gay relationships. Mm. Mm -hmm. Kasi, um, this is not a formal study. But mm -hmm. if you look around, a dami ko nakikita rin ng mga straight couples na yung lalaki ng bababae. Mm -hmm. Mayroon ding babae na That's lalaki. Na lalaki. Uh -oh. Diba? I would, I would siguro uh, think na baka most of us here, even those who are watching, may kilala kayo na mm -hmm. may kabit, na, na straight yes. couple din. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it necessarily applies na if you're looking at it from that lens, dun sa study na yun, mm -hmm. baka it would seem na yung gay couples talaga yung mm -hmm. less monogamous. Pero maybe in general, that does happen across different relationships. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What I will say though is in general, again, in general to ha, <laughs> kasi again, there will be outliers, mm -hmm. pero most men uh, have a higher libido <laughs> compared to women. Most. Most <laughs> naman. And so there's a tendency na man and a man, yeah. so horny times horny, so horny, yeah. yes. Diba? So, <laughs> horny. Yeah. Yeah. Superlative. Oh, oh. So, in that case, that might happen. Pero in, in this day and age, yung mga modern relationships, um, monogamy doesn't really, doesn't, doesn't always factor into the relationship as, mm. a, as a deal breaker. Mm. Yeah. Diba? Marami tayong mga modern relationships din ngayon na tanggap nila na, well, this is what works yes. for us. And mm -hmm. so, kahit walang monogamy, you still have that commitment, you still have that love. And yes. so, mm -hmm. they become, in, 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 in a way, part of the rules of their relationship mm -hmm. na rin. Yeah. So, maybe it's not that big of an issue for mm -hmm. most or some gay relationships. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pakambyo right. lang siguro ako ng konti, no? Kasi, mm -hmm. I think, malaking factor din dito yung portrayal ng media. Yes. No, pagdating mm -hmm. sa mga, especially queer relationships. Mm -hmm. So, ako gusto ko lang siguro hingiin yung komento mo, since nanggaling tayo sa medyo intimate, no? Na topic, mm -hmm. no? Ano yung magiging, ano yung comment mo o madalas na nagiging comment mo every time na may tingin na stereotype halimbawa among different people na kapag hindi nagtatagumpa yung relationship between a same-sex couple, parang kinakailangan merong ma-overkill o merong magtatangkang pumatay. Di ba parang kasi madalas ganun inilalagay siya even, yeah. even with the creative stories mm -hmm. na for sure hindi ganun. Mm -hmm. Di ba? 
That's true. That's true. Mm. And 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 we have to take into account that that's media. Yeah. And when mm. it's media, you know what sells, di ba? Yeah. Yung medyo extreme na stories mm. talaga. Na kapag naghiwalay sila or may pinagawa sila, kailangan may mamatay o kailangan yeah. may something drastic na mangyari. Right. Mm-hmm. But okay. the truth of it is, more often than not, boring yun ang yari. <laughs> um, you get tired of each other. Mm. You break up, and then eventually, so give you, you bad mouth each other. Pa usually exactly. ganon pag mga Becky, di ba? Maghiwalay <laughs> kayo. <laughs> Tapos na. And then that's it. Well, you should wala mong patay. Exactly, <laughs> sa, sa And I, I find oh. it interesting, no? Kasi, kaya, kaya napakahalaga na naririnig natin yung mismong tinig nila. Kasi, mm-hmm. minsan sila, kanina nga nabanggit mo na, actually, boring nga. Eh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> diba? Uh-huh. I mean, lahat nung, nung ina-imagine madalas natin coming from media, mm-hmm. hindi yun yung reality of yes. things. Yes, yes. Diba? that's true. Hindi siya representative, no? Exactly. In reality. So, oh, oh. so yun, anyone who watches that, take it as entertainment na lang. Oh. And then, yeah. look around you and see kung ano ba talaga yung totoo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. So, pinag-usapan natin yung uh, boring, boring relationship. Parang, how the relationship turns boring. Not necessarily yeah. sour, no? Mm-hmm. Pero, kasi through time, mm-hmm. nagkakaroon talaga ng ganung klaseng, pag ano ba, nag-wane yung excitement, yung thrill ng relationship yeah. because you've been together for a long time. Mm-hmm. But then again, even even if meron kayong ganong klaseng uh, relationship na through the years, may mga bonding moments pa rin that you want to do to ensure that the relationship works. Yeah. So, ano yung mga bonding moments niyong dalawa ni Lemuel? Uh, it varies. Oh, mm. so it can be as big as, for example, magbabakasyon kayo sa ibang bansa. Ganyan. Mm-hmm. So, mm. so uh, sometimes we make, ti- uh, we make time budget. for that. Oh, pag may budget. <laughs> Marami budget. siyang budget. Marami oh, <laughs> siyang budget. <laughs> pag yeah. may budget, sige, magbakasyon sa ibang bansa. Pag wala, so weekend, um, bonding lang kayo through yes. binging. Diba, kadalasan mm-hmm. ganyan manonood ng mga mm. series. Um, pero I think more than those, yung, ba, uh, yung planned or yung mga scheduled na moments na yun, Mm-mm. nakakatuwa yung mga micro-bonding moments, yeah. I guess. It, and it's as silly as, halimbawa, may nakita kayo nakakatawa, tapos natawa lang kayo hanggang na, naiiyak kayo sa tawa. Yeah. Ito, napakababaw. Yeah. Pero after that, you feel that connection again with your partner. Or mm. sometimes, it can be as small as, pantutulog na kayo, good night, mm. I love you, kahit na yung mabilis mm. na ganun lang or nagkatinginan lang kayo na mata. Mm. Um, especially when you have years of history as mm-hmm. the foundation of your yes. relationship. Mm-hmm. Instant bonding connection na yun. Kahit mm-hmm. ganun kabilis lang. Oo. Hindi, mm-hmm. na, hindi na ninyo kailangan sabihin pa. Mm-hmm. Yung kailangan mm-hmm. ng isa't isa. No? Ganyan lang. Magkaintindihan kayo sa tingin. Another, another sa beautiful tingin. story na right. naman tayo That's talaga. Right. <laughs> I like that. Yung, na all na lang. Oo, yung micro forms of love. Yes. No? Exactly. I like that. Totoo. Right. Totoo. Um, na kung iisipin mo, maaari siyang mundin, pero actually, siya yung, siya yung connection. Mm-hmm. Diba? And it's a healthy test of your relationship exactly. din. Kasi if you have a relationship na you're only looking forward to those moments na mayroon kayong gagawin mm. malaki, bakasyon mm-hmm. or anything, right. um, and in between, you don't have those right. connections, medyo delikado yung relationship mm-hmm. nyo. Kasi at, at the very least, you should, have, you should be able to celebrate your bonding doon sa mga maliliit na bagay mm-hmm. na. Yeah. Ang ganda na, no? Celebrating each other. Wow. No? Dabi, ang dami ko na napupulot dito pero wala na akong masabi. Okay. Pero syempre, mag-move on. Hey, sa next pero, question. Okay, sa mag-move on. Pwede <laughs> 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 na sa... pag-ikaw na lang. <laughs> <laughs> so, since mag-move on na tayo sa isang question. So, um, pagdating naman sa family, family ninyo pareho, paano yung naging pagtanggap? Ano yung naging process? Instant ba siya? Mm-hmm. Or meron kayong, kung baga kailangan patunayan para lang ipakita sa kanila na nagmamahalan talaga mm-hmm. kayo? Uh, dito siguro sinwelty talaga ako. Kasi both of our families accepted us. In my wow. case, he's my fourth partner na. Each mm-hmm. one pinakalala ko sa family, mm-hmm. each one accepted. Um, and then sa kaside niya, ako yung first partner na pinakilala niya. Mm-hmm. And tanggap ng family yung bawat isa. Yes. Mm-hmm. And nakakatawa din, coincidence, share ko lang. Kasi when we were together, nag, nag-start pa lang kami, saktong first time niyang nagka-nephew sa mm-hmm. kapatid niya, first time ko nagka ng niece. So same Ooh. age. They grew up as friends. And yeah. then naging mag- mag-best friends din sila. Mm-hmm. So 10 years old, 10, 11 years old na sila ngayon. Um, and then they grew up seeing us as yeah. their uncles. And ad ko lang din, parang it also showed us how yung yung exposure to these types of relationships yes. and no judgment involved you mm-hmm. should you can see the kids walang walang kakaiba sa kanila mm-hmm. they didn't see it as ay but dalawang lalaki sila mm-hmm. ganyan parang yeah. tito you know mm-hmm. parang maybe dalawa kaming tito ganyan and then it's not weird for them and then yun so add to that na yung relationship namin is kind of stable so yeah. medyo mm-hmm. ano then uh, secure for for mm-hmm. the family then mm-hmm. and 
um, most of the in-laws na away, I think practical lang ah, sa pera. Mm. <laughs> Di ba? Ah, right. Kadalasan ng mga pinag-aaway yan, no? yeah. ng mag-asawa pagtungkol sa mga in-laws dahil sa pera. So, right. being financially stable also helps. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm, did you ever try to attempt or did you ever attempt to explain to the kids uh, mm-hmm. who never, you are uh, 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 as a couple? No? Uh, uh, yeah. I never had to. Yun yung nakakatuwa. Right. Eh. So, like my niece, she was, she grew, uh, siya yung mas naon ng maging talkative doon mm. sa dalawa. Yeah. Eh. So, um, when we were, uh, when she was with us, you two or three years old, ang alam niya, ang tawag ngayon sa akin is Ninong, ang tawag niya kay, sa partner ko is Tatu, kasi hindi niya masabi yung tito. Yeah. So mm-hmm. Tatu tawag niya, mm-hmm. hanggang ngayon Tatu pa yun ang tawag mm-hmm. niya. Pero yeah, at two or three years old, when he when she sees us, parang group hug, group hug, mag-hug wow. kami tatlo. Genuine. And I've never yeah. had to explain it to them. So yeah. normal lang sa kanila. Mm-mm. Alam mo, mm-hmm. somehow ngayon parang kasi nare-recall ko din yung kaninang narrative natin of love story. Mm-mm. na napakahalaga din nung kung gaano ka viable yung environment mm-hmm. no nung pare nung nung couple pagdating sa pa, kung paano magte-thrive yung relationship mm-hmm. kasi halimbawa katulad ng ng relationship ninyo no mm-hmm. na tanggap kayo eh na hindi niyo mm-hmm. kailangan mag, magbigay ng ng what if hindi niyo kailangan magbigay ng kung anong mga reasons mm-hmm. para ipaunawa na hey di ba nagmamahalan kami and mm-hmm. look 10 years mm-hmm. and like kanina din 5 years din na napaka swerte din nila mm-hmm. sa pareha nila mga pamilya mm-hmm. no? so babalik yes. at babalik siya kung gaano ka viable yung environment mm-hmm. na nakinalalakihan din ng mismong couple mm-hmm. no no well uh, we'd like to ask kung in, in terms of establishing a family of your own mm-hmm. Has it ever crossed your mind to have your own <laughs> kids? Uh, meaning, fr- own yeah. flesh and blood, mm-hmm. or maybe adopt a kid? Um, I'm being pedantic, no? But mm-hmm. the, the modern definition of family, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, kids. Uh, yeah, okay, of so, course. Uh, so, I won't go against it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, pero as far as having kids, ako, I, I'm 41. So at this point, ayoko pa rin magkanak. Mm. I probably, baka hindi na talaga. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, pero I don't think it's a, f- a product of us being a gay couple. I think mm. baka more on being millennials. Mm-hmm. Kasi, mm-hmm. pasi yung mga millennials ngayon, yes. na, oo, konti na lang yung talagang gustong mag-anak or mag-anak yeah. ng marami. Practical lang din. Kasi mm-hmm. ang mahal. Mahal magkaroon ng anak na ngayon. Mm-hmm. And then we have uh, at the time, tigisa lang kami, nephew and niece. Ngayon, sa side niya, 11 na yung mga pamangkin namin. Uh, nag-enjoy na kami sa pag-alaga sa mga bata, mm. sa mga, ano, mga nephews and nieces yes. namin. Kasi, uh, pero, uh, sig- naging common na rin yung term ngayon na DINK, D-I-N-K, which is mm. dual income, no kids. Mm-hmm. Mga couples na, Siyempre, dalawa kayong kumikita, wala kayong sinusuporta ang bata. Mas happy. na-enjoy niyo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every, like everybody thing. happy. Uh, yes, everybody totoo. happy. Uh, totoo. Uh, so, siguro, eventually, we don't know yet. Uh, time will mm. tell. Pero for now, hindi pa din. Mm. Mm, yeah. oh, magiging, kasi eventually, pag, if gay couples or queer couples in general would refuse to have kids, magiging yeah. problema ng population commission yan. Magkakaroon ng, <laughs> ah, ng economic... Ah, totoo. Oh, Palit oh, na oh, lang naman uh, tayo. Sa bagay, yun lang. Hindi mo naman alam. <laughs> yeah, overpopulated pa ngayon eh. So, ah, okay lang naman. Uh, okay uh, totoo. Right. So, ako yung pinaka uh, final question ko, mm. no? So, doon sa 10 years na relationship, um, nagkaroon ba talaga kayo ng isang conflict na kumbaga akala ninyo na parang katakusan yeah, ko. Yeah, major, ah. no? Major oh, conflict. Oh, 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 and, syempre dahil you are still in that relationship and counting, di ba? Ah. Parang, paano ninyo nalagpasan yun? Mm-hmm. Hindi ako makaisip na <laughs> 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 ng major, ha? Major, uh, major, major, uh, major. Major, major. Major, major. Ang hirap mag-isip, uh, ang mga naiisip ko na conflict namin, usually, yung mga napakababaw, mm-hmm. I guess, you, you first two years, which is expected ko na, for, again, fourth relationship yes, ko na, so alam yes. ko, yung first two years na relationship, diyan maglalabasan yung insecurities, pagsiselos, yeah. yung mga away. Mm. So, we went through that. And mm. after, and ako, I, I, I knew that we were going to go through that. Yes. Um, through the years naman, meron kami, uh, may acronym for, for that eh, HALT. And it, it, it's very apt kasi uh, you HALT when you have any of these four feelings. So, yung mm. hungry, angry, lonely, or tired. Mm-hmm. If you have any of those four feelings, wag mo na kayo mag-confrontation. Shut up. Uh-huh. <laughs> More likely than not, meron kayong tigisa ng, right. ng isa dun sa mga emosyon na yun. Yeah, kasi you're at the uh-huh. height, eh, no? Uh-huh. All right. uh-huh. So, ang nangyayari is usually, pag, ba, pag uwi siya, galing uh-huh. trabaho, pagod siya, ako <laughs> nagluto ako ng hapunan, ganyan, pagod din ako, nagluto ako. <laughs> yes. Tapos nakasimangot siya, tapos hindi niya na-appreciate. Tapos uh-huh. niya, bakit ang oily nito? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, it's a small things, no? It's a small oh, oh, things. Okay, okay, okay. Pero sinya, sa loob niya, sige, hold. 
<laughs> Gutom pa siya. Pagod na galing work. Ako din siguro, yeah. pagod din ako dahil nagluto ako. So, pause muna, ganyan. And then later, usually natatawa na na namin. Yeah. Do you practice that religiously? Yung halt? I, it, subconsciously na. Mm. Kasi it's always, sig- again, 10 years, it's, it's a dance that you practice. Right, it's right. a dance that you perfect. So, sa over the years, it's become easier for us to recognize those signs mm-hmm. na pag hambawa, napansin namin, ako, bad trip to, bad mood to. Yeah. Tawin ko siya, pagod ka. Tapos <laughs> 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 sige, oh, pagutin ako eh. May, may ano to, sige, kaya muna tayo. Ano to? May gigil sa mukha. Pero ang, ang ganda oh, nung may oh. recognition eh. Butong ka, pagod ka, <laughs> di ba? Kung baga, mapapaisip ka, na papareflect ka, okay, lahat ng possible na gawin ko ngayon, okay, conflict to. Oh, oh, which is good, no? Mm-hmm. Kasi yeah. usually, yun yung problem din with adults, na ang hirap i-acknowledge na kadalasan ng mga emotions nyo, pag galit kayo or nasasaktan or anything, mm-hmm. yes. is childish and basic emotions. Ay. Ang hirap sabihin kasi, ang tanda ko na, tapos yeah. nakakandang pa ako ng galit. Gusto kayo nagtatawa ka. 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 Can you relate? Babalik at babalik. Ba't pa ako ganito? Ano ba naisip ko? Usually, kailangan ko lang ng lambing, yeah. oh. attention. Right, that's yeah. right. Mga maliliit na bagay. As an adult, you, you don't think na, hindi ko pwede sabihin ito, tanda ko. So you layer yeah. it on with a more complex problem. Mm-hmm. But the reality is, pag inatras mo ng konti, yun lang yun, mababaw lang na dahilan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. so Noel, uh, for the last question, uh, siguro sa two, 10 years, no? more than 10 years yeah. na, na magkasama kayo ni Lem, well, ano sa tingin mo yung key ingredient uh, mm-hmm. to uh, maintaining your relationship? For <laughs> maybe 10 plus or 10 or 20 yeah. years more. <laughs> Pero uh, at top of mind, uh, merong honest, open and honest communication. Mm-hmm. So pag-uusapan nyo talaga, that's across all relationships, yeah. whether gay mm-hmm. or straight, uh, humor is mm-hmm. a big factor for mm-hmm. us. Kasi mm-hmm. talaga, everyday meron kami tinatawanan. So <laughs> nakakatuwa yung ganun. And then you build a, a friendship on top of that. Uh, and then meron ko yung commitment to stay in that relationship. Mm-hmm. Uh, and in that commitment, alam nyo na, okay, sige, pag may pinagdaanan tayong ganito, Kaya natin yan. Madali natin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright. So, alalahanin ninyo ha, communication, humor, and commitment. commitment. Tinatandaan ko na rin uh, yan. Right. Thank you very much, Noel, for coming over. Yes, thank and you so much. Me. Marami tayong natutunan, Amira, sa Totoo. queer relationships. Exactly. Isang napakasaya at makabuluwang episode na naman ng Sari-Saring Kwertuhan ang ating pinagsaluhan ngayong araw. Salamat, Case, Cheryl, and Noel sa inyong buong pusong pagbabahagi ng inyong kwento sa sari-saring kwertuhan. Of course, we would like to thank the TAMS community for listening and to all the departments and offices that made this vodcast possible. Once again, live from Botong Francisco's Fluvial Parade here in FEU, we hope that you have learned and enjoyed as much as we did. Watch out for our next episode where we will talk about legal battles and small wins. Exciting episodes ahead, Toms. Once again, I am Amira Milano. And I am Bobet Latosa. And this is Sari Saring Kwertuhan. Sari-saring Kwertuhan.